Hey, this is Bob Gregor with Circle Tree. I'm going to show you a OSX Lion first impressions. This is the Goldmaster preview build of the latest version of Apple's operating system, OS 10.7. It's running on an early 2011 MacBook Pro. You can see here it's got a really nice new info screen. This is a nice little touch that they added here. It shows you all of the displays connected as well as your storage usage. You'll notice right now I'm running from an external drive and uh, oh, looks like it has indexed everything. You can see that's my main drive. I'm just using this as a test bed. It also has a handy little thing to check if you can upgrade your RAM. You can uh, see if you have any available slots and you can see what size DIMM you have in each slot. Alright, the biggest thing I've noticed with OS X line is just how smooth everything is. Switching between apps is seamless. There's gestural interfaces to go between desktops. It's just everything just flows. It's like butter. You can, there's more gestures between full screen apps. You can use four fingers now. Look at how smooth that is. One of the things I haven't quite decided if I like it or not yet is the new, they reversed the scrolling direction. They call this the natural scrolling direction. So long page of text. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, see, so notice um, my default reaction is to scroll up. I, uh, I might reverse that. We'll see if I actually like it or not. But overall, it's very smooth. I'm using Safari here. And uh, four fingers, I can switch to another space. I can go four fingers up to go back to Mission Control. Mission Control shows you everything that you have running in the different spaces. In Mission Control, you can actually use finger gestures, two or three or three or four fingers to switch between different desktop spaces. Dashboard has also been added as a desktop space, you can see right here. You'll notice Mission Control segments the applications that you have open by desktop. So you'll notice here on Desktop 5, I have the revamped address book and iCal. It's gotten a little bit of a facelift. Got a year view finally. Yeah, the biggest thing to note about OSX Line is that it has much more gestural interfaces, including a three finger thumb swipe, which brings up the launch pad as well as the desktop gesture. And then you can also bring down mission control. You can do three finger ex three app expose you can bring Mission Control down by swiping up, and you can do App Expose for the specific app windows you have open by drawing down. So if I go over into Safari here, and I make new windows, Launchpad will show me them. Select which window I want. Yes, that's four fingers. There's a lot of settings for gestures. It's definitely going to take me some time to figure out which ones I like. Look at all these more gestures. We've got point and click, got the kind of the default. Tap to click, secondary click. I've got nice little videos so you know how to do it. Scroll and zoom. This is the one that I'm going to find whether or not it's controversial not or not. To uh, make the scroll wheel natural again, what you can do is you can actually uncheck this. It's not the most intuitive thing. Hopefully, they'll actually fix this labeling in the uh, final the Goldmaster 2 candidate. This is no longer the quote-unquote natural way, which is the way I certainly am used to scrolling things. You scroll down like that, my brain goes, okay, yeah, that's how I scroll. Um, we'll see if I actually like it the quote-unquote natural way. It's more like an iPad if you use it this way. See how the fingers are uh, kind of locked with the page? It's not, it's kind of, I'm used to having it reversed just because I've been on laptops this way for a long time. Still got zoom in and zoom out, pinch to zoom. We've got smart zoom, which kind of harkens to the iPhone, which is if you go to a page, like let's take a look at the New York Times. you can actually double tap, two finger tap, and it'll smart zoom in on, on columns. And you can also tap to zoom out. You can do that so you can make reading things a lot easier. It's, all, it's a lot like on the iPhone. You can double tap with one finger to do a, this type of a smart zoom. 
Let's also take a look at history. History, I have mine set to be three fingers. This is one of those things that I'm going to have to figure out how I like it. Swipe between pages. This is it. Swipe left or right with three fingers. You can also scroll left or right with two fingers. The problem with that is I'm used to Safari. Let me see if it works with Safari here. Oh, looks like that's pretty. That's very cool. I like that. Kind of, if you forgot where you came from, you can preview it before you go back to it. Hopefully, uh, Chrome will figure that out as well. You can also switch between full screen apps. I don't think I have any installed right now, so it's kind of hard to demo that. Mission Control, you can set it to three or four fingers swipe up. Right now, it's set up to four. App Expose, you can swipe down with four fingers. You can also set that for three fingers, which is what I think I'm used to. So now I can, there we go. And again, you swipe down, that does App Expose. Uh, if you swipe back up, it'll restore to your last view, which is pretty intuitive. Then we've got the launch pad, which is pinch with thumb and three fingers. So just like that, that brings up all your apps. And then again, the reverse gesture will bring you back to the view that you were just in. So that's also very intuitive. And then show desktop, spread with thumb and three fingers. Kind of, uh, you can do, there's multiple levels. You can go launch pad back to your current view and then spread again and then that gives you your desktop so very intuitive great job Apple definitely like the uh, user interface it's very very smooth it's smooth going between desktops I think this is gonna make the whole expose spaces uh, system a lot more useful to people just because now it's very intuitive and it's part of the core user experience. It's not really an add-on. You don't see a spaces thing here where you have to try and remember where you put different things. It's integrated as part of Launchpad as well. You've got Launchpad and Mission Control show you everything that's going on on your Mac. So 